first and foremost, giving all of the praises to the Most High and the Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Ba'ashem, and double honors to the apostles of the great millstone and salutations to the Yakimah that has furthered his ministry. And um, we're going to read from um, Daniel's the third chapter, verse 15. We're going to end it off at verse 25. And then we're going to go into it through the Spirit. So okay. Let's begin. This is Daniel 3 and 15. Mm -hmm. Now if ye be ready, that at, the, at what time ye hear the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, sackbut, sautery, and the soma, and all the kinds of music, ye fall down and worship the image which I have made. Well, but if ye will worship not, ye shall be cast in the, in the same hour, in the midst of the burning, fiery furnace. And who is that power that will deliver you out of my hands? Come on, go on. Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. If it be so, our power whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning furnace. I was looking at that this week, you know. Furnace, and he will deliver us out of the hand. Come on, so if you... Oh, king. If you, if you actually, um, if you read that, that particular verse, and pay attention to what we said. He said, we are not careful in the matter. So they were boldly confident and not um, following the command of the, the king at the time. And so what happened was, is ultimately they were, they were cast into the fire as it reads. We're gonna, might as well go into it anyway. But if not, be it known unto thee, mm -hmm. O king, that we will not serve thy gods, yeah. nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Come on. Then was Nebuchadnezzar full of fury, and the form of his visage was changed mm -hmm. against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Come on. Therefore he spake and commanded that they should heat the furnace uh -huh. one seven times more than it was wont to be heated. And he, command, and he commanded the most mighty men that were in his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and cast him into the burning fiery furnace. Come on, come on. Then these men were bound in their coats, their holes in their hats, yep. and their other garments, and were cast into the midst of the burning, fiery furnace. Come on. Therefore, because the king's commandment was urgent, and the furnace exceedingly hot, the flame of the fire slew those men mm. that took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Come on, come on. And these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down, bound into the midst of the burning, fiery furnace. Come on. When Nebuchadnezzar the king was astonished, astonished, and rose up in haste and spake, yeah. and said unto his counsellors, Did we not cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? Come on. He answered and said unto the king, True, O king. He answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose, walking in the midst of the fire, mm. and they have no hurt, and the form of the fourth is like the son of the Most High. So in other words, when you, when you actually go and read this, I believe it's the next the next following verses it explains on how there was no burn marks on them. Yeah. There was no hurt found towards them. Yeah. But the men, as the brother just read in a couple of more verses, up, 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 a couple of verses down, the men that put them in the, the, the fiery furnace, which was exceedingly hot, they got burned up. Uh. Okay, but the men that believed in Yahweh Bashri on Shai, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, the three men, uh, they wasn't affected by it. So why am I reading this? Because yeah. according to the scriptures in the book of uh, Acts, the 14th chapter, which explains on how we're going to get into the kingdom of heaven, is through great tribulation, which is the fire. So these men here, they literally went through the fire and survived through the literal fire, right along with the son of men. And the Lord ultimately knew the hearts of these three men. They knew that they weren't going to bow down to the, to the, uh, the king. Okay? They knew this, so it's the same thing with us. The Lord knows the hearts of the elect because the elect already have it in their mind that they will not submit and consent to this system at all. The elect already know and understand this. So when it's all said and done, the Lord is going to guide and protect those that have that mindset as the mindset that they have, all right? As what Paul was saying, Paul said that I, that I, um, that he was fully persuaded. Let's get Romans the eighth chapter. Yeah. Romans 8 and 34. See, we're fully, see, you got to be fully persuaded in this thing of ours, man. You can't be no half ass. You got to be in this thing. Okay? Go on, bro. Can I? Uh, yeah, Baba Kusha? Uh, yeah. 34. We'll start with 34. 
Uh, yeah, Daniel uh, 3, what you mentioned in 27 says, And the princes and the governors and the captains and the kings, the counsellors, being gathered together, saw these men upon whose bodies the fire had no power, God. nor was an hair of their head singed, right. neither were their coats changed, nor the smell of the fire had passed on them. <laughs> it was as if like nothing happened to them because it didn't happen to them nothing happened to them you see so they the power of the flame did not affect these men at all because the lord created all of the elements of the earth so therefore he has um he has control of all of these elements and how are these elements are going to affect you you understand so the event the current event that's coming up now in, in this society in this revival of this roman system is going to be exceedingly great indeed as it says in the book of Daniel, the 12th chapter, it says that there shall come a day since there was a nation. All right? And who's going to bring that day? The Lord is going to be the one to bring forth that day. All right? So if that's the case, then the Lord is going to take care of the men who he has set up before him from the beginning of the world. And, they, and the Lord is going to instill the gospel and the faith to believe in the gospel. All right? Within them. And, and, and by that being the case, they're going to be all right. When that time comes, they're going to make it through the fire. All right. Romans 8 and 34. Mm -hmm. Who is he that condemneth? It is Mashiach that died. Yeah, rather, that is risen again. <clears throat> right. Who is even at the right hand of the Most High. Right, who is even at the right hand of the Most High. This is Yahweh Shah. Go on. Who also maketh intercession for us. Yeah. Who shall separate us from the love of Mashiach? Right. Shall tribulation, or distress, yeah. or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, right. or sorrow, as it is written, for thy sake we are killed all day long. Right. For this, for our sake, that's what he said, right? For thy sake. For thy sake we are killed all the day long. In other words, what Paul was saying is we're already dead in, in the eyes of the world. We're already dead. We're already in a situation where um, it warrants death. So what's the point of us forsaking the, the, the Lord? What's the, what's the point of going to continue in this world? And this is mainly talking about the disciples, the apostles that were under the apostle Paul. They were dead to the world that they were in. How much more rest? This ain't uh, this applying to the whole nation. It's the whole nation. They're in a different belief system. They're in the world. Okay? So that don't apply to them. They're going to go right along with the world. But we as the men of the Lord, hey man, we know that the elites, they know who we are. And when the time comes around, if possible, they're going to they gonna try to um, get rid of us, man. It says there should be a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. Now you can say that that's the whole nation, but mainly, specifically, that's talking about the men of the Lord, the elect. Okay? Because the men of the Lord are the ultimate threat of the one world order, and just the society in general. But why haven't they put us to death as of yet? Because they want to hear what we got to say, which is the spirit of the Lord allowing us to, to remain to teach this gospel. Okay? Because this is the Lord's deal. Whatever the Lord does, it is done for whatever, according to the book of Ecclesiastic, Ecclesiasticus um, 3, verse 24. Go on, bro. This is um, where is he? Romans 8 and... 35. I was on 36. As mm -hmm. it is written, for thy sake, we are killed all day long. Yeah. We are counted as sheep to for the, the slaughter. You go on. Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors mm. through him that loved us. Right. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, mm -hmm. nor powers, nor things present, right. nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of the Most High. Right, so that's the, that's the mind, that's the mentality you, you, you have if you are of the elect. And the reason why you're going to have that mentality is simply because the Lord said that none of, the, none of his men would be plucked out of his hand. I believe that's in the book of John, the 10th chapter. 10. So no, no matter what situation we, we, we have to deal with in this world, because they were already, Esau's already pushing the vaccines out on the people, okay? They're already making it clear that, look, you know, we got, we got, we got it rolled out. So all we need y'all to do is, is just consent to us, yeah. and then everything will be back to square one again, as it once were before, okay? But we need all of you to take the vax. We need y'all to take the the Maxine, have you will, because <laughs> he gonna take this video Maxine. down. You know, you gotta you gotta take the needle, okay? In order for us to to open open our hands to you, all right? And then you don't have to stay in the house. You don't have to worry about contracting the virus or whatever. You know, 
going, bro. Mm. No, no. And we already know what Maxine's gonna do. We, we know what she's hit. <laughs> Boris Johnson done a, 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 a. The brother sent it on. Um, sent it in the group that um, he um, he was saying that we've got we've got everything. We've got it there, Come. right? <laughs> We just gotta make sure that it, uh, we can free. It, it stays frozen. That we make and, right. he, and he slipped. He had a slip of tongue. He said that the um, the the. the you talking about the government Cuomo, right? Um, Boris Johnson. Okay. While he was in, in the middle of his speech, he said, "We've got everything. We just gotta make sure we can freeze the um the virus." Mm. He didn't say he didn't say the vaccine. He said the virus, wow. so we can freeze the the virus. Wow. And I, and I, and I said Psalms um, Psalms <laughs> Psalms sixty four and eight. I told him so. But that's what we've been saying all along. We've been saying that. We've been saying that the, the, the virus is in this. And that was in Edomite. He, had, he was making jest of it, mm -hmm. saying that, what, what the fuck is this? In Edomite with a Cockney accent. Can't, can't, what can't. the fuck is he saying, man? Like, and he's like, what the <laughs> So you, there you go, man. Yeah, but you know, Bar, you know Bojo the clown, man. He ain't so right. You know, he, he's very moronic in mind, you know? So he slipped with the tongue. But yeah, man, um, hey, the, hey, the virus is in the package still that they're going to bring to you. He basically slipped, like you said, brother. He told the truth. Go on. Um, that was it on that. Which that wasn't his intention anyway. Go on. That was <laughs> okay. Uh. Yeah, so yeah, you have to be fully persuaded in this in this truth, man. You can't come in this truth and have the, the mentality of, well, you know, um, I'm an Israelite, shalom, brother, and, and, and read, and, and, you know, and just trying to act like you're this powerful power angel or something. It's more to it than that. Are you of the elect? Are you sanctioned for your salvation are you going to ride this thing all the way out all right that's just the thing because when you come into this truth you're supposed to be like there with your hollow shot to the very end okay and if you're not having that mentality then guess what the lord is going to deny you when when your persecution comes because you eventually you're going to be the found denying him that's the that's the why you're, you're going to be denied you know? Go on, bro. This is um. This is Philippians two and seven. Mm -hmm. Rooted and built up in yeah. Him. Yeah. And established in the faith. Right. So you have to be rooted up and established in the faith, like those roots of the tree. What makes those trees stand so still, right? Because of the roots underneath the ground. So. That's the that's the way you gotta be in this thing. You gotta be established. You gotta be rooted in, as the scripture says, as Yahweh put it, that no none of these men shall be plucked out of his hand. Why? Because they will be they will be rooted up in him <coughs> and having faith, and they're gonna ride with Yahweh even unto their death. Okay, go on, brother. And established in the faith All as right. you have been taught. As you have been taught, abounding thereof, right? Abounding therein with thanksgiving. Yeah. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. Mm -hmm. After the tradition of men. Right. After the rudiments of the world. After the rudiments of the world. And so, so whoever's teaching what, we're not going to consent onto that because we know that that's not the light thereof. It says that whosoever teacheth not this light because there's no light in them. I'm roughly paraphrasing. That's in Isaiah 8 and 20. There's no light in that. There's no light in Islam. There's no light in Christianity. There's no light in, um, what else, man? The, the Baptist church, the, the Episcopalian church, and all of the above. There's no light in these doctrines. The Jehovah Witness, or when, um, what Volcab Malone is involved in. Mm. Okay, there's no light to what they're saying. What we have is the complete truth. And the, the, proof, the proof is going to be when all hell breaks loose, on how the elect are going to be in state of mind they're going to be still and, and cool why because we have the real we have the we have, we have the real documentation of the most high himself all right beginning with yahweh shai though but everybody else they're going to be running and doubting and you know having the the, uh, the uh the mind of the mindset of doubting because they don't have it man they're not gonna they're not gonna have it together go on bro after the rudiments of the world and not after Mashiach. Yeah. For in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Right. So of him, read that again. Uh, for in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Right. In him dwelleth the, what is it, the Godhead of the body. So he's the one that's actually governing the body. That's why it says in the book of Corinthians 12 that 
basically Paul likens us as the body of the Amashiach, Yahweh Shah. So with that being the case, as in every body, you have a spirit, right? What spirit is guiding, what spirit is going to guide that body? The spirit of the manners of the book, Yahweh Shah, the man that died on the cross of our sins. And all we gotta do is ride with that spirit. That's all we have to do to the very end, okay? And then eventually, we'll be that church to overcome. This is why Paul said that we're more than conquerors. Yeah. Because eventually, not only are we gonna conquer this man spiritually, but physically we're gonna conquer this man. Romans, the, what is it? Romans the 11th chapter, I believe, where it says how um, he told, he told um, one of the men that um, he have reserved unto himself 7,000 that shall not bow the knee to what all berip. And 7,000 just means completion. What the Lord was saying is that I have I have certain amount of men preserved that shall not consent or bow down. And you have those men in on this side right here. And those are the men that are gonna be rooted and established in the faith as they were taught. That's what the, uh, the Apostle Paul was selling um, his his um apostles that were following him. All right, go on. This is now Matthew seven and twenty two. Mm. Start twenty one. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Yeah. But he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Exactly. So you have to do His will. You have to do what is said in this book. You can't do your own thing and and go off script. You have to stick to the script. All that is written. Like you have many people that will say, well, I, you know, you can't judge me. I, I believe in God in my way. No, there's no believing in God your own way. You have to believe in the most high according to as it is written, according to the record. That's how it is done. Okay? And the way that we're doing it, beginning with the apostle, the great stone, that's the way that you do it. But he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven, verse 22, many so you can call on the name of the Lord, because a lot of Jakes know about the name of the Lord. But are they doing the will? Is everybody doing the will of the Lord? No. And this is why these other men in these other camps, they're not teaching in the name of the Lord, and they're not teaching of the prophecies to come, because really in all reality, they're actually scared, because they know that they have not been doing the will of the Lord. And the spirit of fear is dwelling in them. And this is why when all hell breaks loose, they're going to stop what they're teaching. They're going to get from underneath their, their followers. Who they know that's going up. Because you got certain men within these camps that know that these guys are going up. But they still continue to follow their through. As the scripture says, that the blind be leaders of the blind. And both of them will fall into the ditch. Alright? That's what's going to happen. Go on, brother. Um, where was I? Where was I? Um, not everyone that said, yeah, got that. Verse 22, many will say to me in a day, Lord, Lord, have mm. we not prophesied in thy name? Yeah. And in thy name have cast out devils. Right. And in thy name done many wonderful works. Right, because even down here in the UK, you have the IUIC. You also have the IUIC church. The same churches you have in, in the States, you have the same churches here as well. You even have GOCC. GOCC has influenced certain jakes down here in the uk as well so a lot of guys are going to be found without and they're going to realize wait a minute them guys in great no stone always had the truth because what they're going to want up doing eventually they're going to want up putting an end to the internet the world wide web so once they put it into the world wide web what are you going to do now what truth are you going to get so now you have to figure this thing out for yourself so not just Jake in America that's going to be tried. You Jake's down here are going to be tried. Okay? Our people down here in the UK that don't get it together, they're going to be found slipping. Okay? Go on, brother. Then, when I profess unto them, I never knew you. Yeah. Depart from me, ye that work with iniquity. Exactly, man. And that's going to happen because you're going to have certain brothers. I call them brothers that are going to wind up finding certain brothers of GMS in that, in that day and time. And brothers is just going to give them the cold show. Look, I don't know you, bro. You should have gotten it when the getting was good. All of a sudden, they want to go and, and buy and, and, what is it? Go and buy the oil. You can't buy the oil. Because the when that time comes, the bridegroom is going to come in the midst of that, that time. As a matter of fact, brother, if you can't hold what you got, get me Matthew 25. 
This is Matthew 25. Mm. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins which took their lamps and yeah. went forth to meet their bridegroom. And five of them were wise and five foolish. Yeah. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. Yeah. But the, wild, but the wise took oil in their vessels mm -hmm. with their lamps. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. Yeah. And at midnight there was a cry made. Come on. Behold. And, we're, and we're in the midnight right now. The crying is being made out right now because you have the uh, you have the Edomites that are in their day, but they're transitioning to their night, and we're transitioning to our day. So in the midst of all of that, the cry is being made. All of these men are crying out loud, even these other camps out there that ain't all the way got it together. They may be teaching ninety percent of the truth, some seventy percent of the truth, but they're crying. So at midnight, a cry was made. Right, go on. A cry made, behold, the bridegroom cometh. Right, behold, the bridegroom cometh. So how are we beholding you to the way of the bridegroom coming? By bringing forth the scriptures and connecting the dots, connecting it to the prophecies. Because the disciples commanded, excuse me, the, the disciples inquired of the Lord as to when his time was going to come and when would the end be. So then Yahweh Shai broke down all of the signs that would come. Okay, he explained to them, this sign is going to happen, that's going to happen, this, that, and the third. And we're in that time of these signs um, shown forth, therefore indicating the second return of the Messiah. So we, when we bring these scriptures, when we bring out these scriptures to you, we're letting you know to behold that the bridegroom is coming, which is Shahawa Shah. Go on. Go ye out to meet him. Mm -hmm. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, yeah. Give us of your oil. Yeah. For our lamps have gone out. Okay. But the wise answered, saying, Not so. Let right, not so. Stopped. That's the Lord denying them right there. Whosoever saith, Lord, Lord, shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven, but they that do the will of my Father in heaven. Go on. But the wise answered, saying, Not so, lest there be not enough for us mm -hmm. and you, but go rather to them that buy. So I'll tell you what, brother, hold what you got. Go back to Matthew 7, which you, you just read, where you just finished that. <clears throat> Back to Matthew 7 mm -hmm. and 21. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Come. But he that doeth the will of my Father, Come. which is in heaven. Yeah. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? Right. And in our name have cast out devils. Right, so that's talking about the men that have um, decided to seek to buy the oil of the other men that have already got their oil in Matthew 25. So let's go back to Matthew 25. Because <clears throat> when Jacob's trouble comes around and it's all kind of hell taking place amongst the people and amongst the, the police enforcements and really the police are not going to get involved. It's the military, the SWAT team and all of the above. They're all going to get involved in all of this hell. So when that time comes around and the environment turns into shit, there's not going to be no time for me to sit down and, t and tell you the truth and elaborate what we know. No, we're not going to be doing that. It's, by then, it's going to be too late. Okay, go on, brother. Well, Matthew 25 and 7, Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps, mm -hmm. and the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, yeah. for our lamps have gone out. But the wise answered, saying, Not so, Come. lest there be not enough for us yeah. and you. But go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves. And when they did that, go on. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came. Right, the Lord already came. <laughs> so they're looking to get taught this truth, this information, while the Lord is coming back. That's not the time. That's going to be the wrong time, man. That's why it says, man, <laughs> in that day they shall know that a prophet had been among them. Because they're going to seek the prophets. They're going to look for the sins that they used to see in Oxford Street, um, Waterloo Station. Not Waterloo, I'm um, King's Cross, that's where we used to be at. Yeah, and Waterloo, yeah. Back in the day, you know? So yeah, but we're not gonna be found and we don't be we won't we won't I be mean, found so. here either. It's gonna be certain Jakes that have walked past us in this park, where we at right now, and they're gonna be wondering where's these guys with the ropes on? Where could I find these guys? Because I've also seen them on the internet. I've seen them on YouTube and they've been chatting and saying this and that and the third. Now where can I find these guys? Because now we're in the we're in the, we're in the stage of um, well, not stage, but we're in a we're in a place of panarchy now. Okay, but they won't find us. 
The Lord is going to shut our mouths like it, like it says in the book of Ezekiel. Let me see if I can find that precept. And also Amos yeah. 8 and 11. Yeah, you can get that too. It's going to be a famine of the word. Yeah. You continue on, bro. So, um, one verse 10. Mm -hmm. Amada went to buy the bridegroom came and they that were ready went in with him. Right. To the marriage and the door was shut. Yeah. Afterward came also other virgins saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Verily I say unto you, mm -hmm. I know you not. Right. Watch therefore, for ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. Right. That's it on that. One. Exactly. So you gotta be ready and willing and able right now to receive this truth and to take this thing seriously, man. Not wait until the last minute.com. Especially nowadays, we ain't really got the time. I mean, those of you brothers out there that are, that are watching and learning and listening, you got to take this into consideration and see if you can join a camp near your area or something. Try and get in touch with the brothers. Instead of just watching the videos for your entertainment. Because a lot of those kind of jakes, they're going to get caught slipping with their ass hanging. All right? With their pants below their ass. When the shit hit, when the, when the, when the, when um, push comes to shove. So this is the time to get serious. This ain't the time to be playing no games, man. And if you are playing games, it's really because you don't know what time it is. Go on, brother. All right, this is Amos 8 and 11. Behold, the days come, save the Lord, you have a shine. But I will send a famine in the land, mm -hmm. not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, yeah. but of hearing the words of the Lord, you have a shine. But of hearing the words of Yahweh Shai. Because eventually they're going to do away with the internet, man. They're going to put a stop. But really, they don't got to put a stop to the internet. All they got to do is put a stop to YouTube. That's it. The internet still won't be used for the internet of things. Exactly. But just YouTube's going to be cut off. It's going to be cut. Because the thing with YouTube, YouTube, when YouTube, I remember, I remember when YouTube first came out. I was a teenager at the time, in my mid-teens. And it was only useful, like, if you had a dog or, you know, you had a pool, you had a nice house. Like, you know, you would record yourself on that, on, on, on that regard. But... As time went on, it was used to, um, you know, expose certain things about the government and the CIA and all of the above, how corrupt the system is. That's what YouTube was used for later on. And then, it, and then, and then it gets, and then it got to the point where people started to rely on YouTube, like how they relied on their television for their information. Okay, because when, when you think about YouTube, you can set up your own channel, and you can, you can express your point of view on things. They're gonna dead all of that because you're gonna be under a, a one world system that they believe they're gonna um, further end and it's gonna continue on and you're gonna be under them. You're not gonna have no say on anything. Your ideology is gonna be what they want you to know, okay? Their ideology is gonna be a part of your mind and you have to subscribe to that. Otherwise, they're gonna just, they're gonna cut, cut your chip off because that's what it's gonna get down to. You're gonna be chipped and if you rebel, you show any form of signs of rebellion, <laughs> They're gonna just close your ship off, man. Go on, bro. You want to yeah, there's a, there's a brother. Um, he's over in um the states. He's on BitChute, BitChute. Yeah. yeah. And he says that he he can't eat. I, I mentioned it. I, I mentioned him. Wow, wow, into the wicked, right? Yeah. He says that he, when he speaks, he, he has a problem. He can't hold back. He's, he's with he's with he's with the GMS. Yeah. He can't keep his words. Certain things he likes to say. He likes to say things. You know what I mean? Yeah. And oh, express man. things. So he says he, he he finds it better to be on Bitchu because he can talk freely, more freely. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm looking into it. I don't know. I, I'll look into it. I don't. I ain't, I, from the elders ain't really said nothing about it. Then um, I don't know. But oh. bit, this brother saying he's finding more. His, his, his views are better. He said, but it's not all about views. But he said his views are better. Yeah. They don't stop his videos. Mid, you know, cut down his video because he's getting a lot of trouble with. Yeah, them yeah, yeah. messing around with his channels and that. Yeah, you know? because what YouTube does, it also suppresses your your, your channel as well. Yeah. You know, say certain things or you don't follow with the narrative, that kind of sort of thing. So yeah, um, that's what it's gonna get down to, man. They're gonna wind up doing away with the YouTube because YouTube is a is a place where you can openly express your point of view on things. They're gonna do away with all of that. <laughs> now it's gonna be really declared that the UK and also places like America as well are gonna be um communistic life pretty much Born. yes brother verse 12 and they shall wander from sea to sea and from the north even to the east 
they shall run to and fro yeah. to seek the word of the Lord Jehovah Shai and shall not find it. Yeah, they're going to seek all over the place. They're going to be seeking in their mind. Like, where can I find these guys? Because they couldn't find them where they expected to find them at. So they're going to be wondering like, yo, where, where's, where's such and such? Where's Great No Stone this? Where's Great No Stone that? But you're not going to be found. Okay? Because that's going to be the time of Jacob's trouble. And that's going to be the time where we're going to have to go do what we're going to have to go through. So we're not going to have time or space to tell you what you should know about you being an Israelite. Okay? Right now is the time. The door of mercy is still open, but that door is closing. Okay, it's gotten to the point where the spirit, beginning of the apostle on oh, Tahar, right, right, said that certain men that we haven't really seen are not allowed to enter into our path. But let's say you're a brother. Yeah, and they're rightfully to say that because they're looking out for brothers that are in the truth. Yeah. Scripture says a little bit of leaven, leaven in the whole world. Oh, yeah. You've got men, slack it, older. You've got men that want to come into the camp, but they can't even do the basic things when they're not even in the camp. Just, just a simple thing as one video a day. Not even that. They can't even do that. So, if you can't do particular things when you're outside of the camp, mm. why do you want to be inside the camp? Because yeah. you're obviously not following the orders of the Elder Apostle of Great Millstone. Mm -hmm. It's lucky. That's all I got to say. No, no, that's 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 the truth. That's the truth. But it's, it still stands on how the doors are closing. The doors of mercy are actually closing. So there's no time to be playing games. On. You know, because we're in a time of, of uh, soon to come martial law, which means more like war. How you doing? You all right? Yeah, we're just teaching the Bible. And the camera. We're teaching the Bible and um, no, don't, basically don't, 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 don't. what we're teaching is, is that you so-called black people are Israelites. In other words, you're God's chosen people. That's what we're teaching. And that this world is going to come to an end. But there's hope. And the hope is this, is that the, all the kids are going to have to do is repent and come back to the Lord before the dangerous time comes. Because the end is about to come. Destruction is getting ready to come. So how old are you anyway? I'm, I'm 14. I'm 14. Why are you okay. hiding me? I'm 14. I'm 14. I'm 14. I'm 14. Okay. I'm 14. I'm 14. I'm 14. Okay. I'm 14. Yeah, she's 12. Okay. That's all right. Yeah, so um, yeah, so a lot of you are under the age of understanding. So y'all gotta repent and come back to the Lord. You know, that's all I gotta say. Have a nice day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was talking about that. Yeah, so this is why um, the Lord is, is um putting the spirit out there on on um closing. There's a spirit of closing. So, the point I'm making is, is that we're, we're coming towards, we're in the end of the world. We're not coming towards the end. We're smack dab in the end of the world. All right, and you got people putting comments, putting com silly comments down on the comment boards and telling brothers how to teach the word and all of the above, when really they should just shut their mouths. They should really just be quiet because they really don't understand what, this, what they're involved in, okay? Um, they haven't really did further more research as to what we're talking about, so they should just be quiet. All right, and then you still have your scoffers and your scorners, your trolls, and, 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 and you know, there and there. Which those guys, again, they're going to be a part of the body of the unbelievers, the whoremongers, the idolaters. And all of those men, let's get the scripture on Revelation 20, 21, verse 8. All of those guys that are playing around, lobby back and talking crap, they're going to be destroyed. And they're going to have a missile with all of their names on it. Okay? And if they don't make it to the missiles, they're going to die in, in the famines when the famines come around. Revelation on, verse 21 and 8. But the fearful and the unbelieving mm. and the abominable and murderers and the whoremongers yeah. and sorcerers and idolaters mm -hmm. and all liars shall have the